Hello, scientists! Welcome back to Draw About Math, the tutorial channel that teaches you graphical abstract. So, in the comments, I received a request asking me how to draw gene schemes. So, um, there's a very specific thing that we need to pay attention to is that in gene schemes uh, and diagrams, the genes need to be in proportion to uh, their actual uh, length in, um, in their base pairs. So, without further ado, let's start to draw about math. We will be drawing this plasmid PR322. So the very important thing for drawing gene scheme is that we are going to keep uh, our arrows in proportions to the length of its base pairs. That's why I calculated uh, the uh, length of the base pair over here. Uh, as you can see uh, here in the Excel sheet, I convert the base pair to a ratio of 1000. And so 1000, so these ratio number will help us to uh, keep our genes in proportion. Okay, and so we can start uh, drawing the gene, and that's uh, first grab our line tool. When you double click on your artboard, then you'll see uh, this box pop up. So here you can key in the exact length for your line. That's key in the length for the TET gene, uh, which is 273 and press OK and uh, let's give it a color so this line is exactly 273 uh, pixels and then that's uh, key in the next uh, part which is the space in between the two genes that will be 147 okay and I will speed up the process of keying in um, because it is a repetitive process And then I'll make the jeans thicker. Make it 20 points. Okay, that's good. And for the space between jeans, uh, we'll make them 5 points. Okay, and um, then we will need to make these genes into arrows, like here. So um, we can very easily do that by first selecting all of the genes. Then go to appearance, stroke, and here you'll see uh, on the stroke panel, uh, there's a selection of arrowheads that you can choose from. And we will use arrow eight. And as you can see, it is really, really big, so uh, we can scale it down over here. To that. Okay, and, and now you can connect all your genes together with the space. and I can delete these okay I maybe I can make the labels a little bit bigger so we can see it and I can align them with the stroke like that and we will uh, fill in the colors into our um, jeans so let's start doing that right here just apply the color onto them in a ways that uh, you like for instance I'll do it this way Send these interspace to the back. And if you uh, take a closer look, then you'll notice uh, the arrows have outlines. 
but we cannot do that with a path. So uh, we will need to convert these paths into objects. Uh, oh, uh, I have my other part of the space over here. Okay. So let's select all of them and come to path and outline stroke. So now these strokes are um, objects and you can apply outline onto them like that. And uh, so it's also you can see that these are two separate objects and we can combine them with our Pathfinder tool and unite these two shapes. So uh, let's do that to all of our genes. Outline and Pathfinder tool and outline. So yeah, that's how you make a linear gene scheme. And now I will show you how to wrap it into a circular plasmid. Um, so first, uh, I will make a duplicate over here and uh, because in the example uh, the name of the gene is within the arrow so I will put them into the arrow and make them a little bit smaller Okay, and group all of these objects and select it, go to object, envelope distortion, make with wrap. Uh, and choose arc as the style and bend 100%. So uh, then you'll see it become uh, half of the circle. Then uh, let's do the rest of the part. Copy this and put them into the gene um, make the text a little bit smaller it was 14 okay and group all of them go to object envelope distort make with grab and also arc and 100%. So let's scale it down a little bit and fit it to the first half of our plasmid. Group them and uh, make the central label. Then you will have your gene scheme for this plasmid. Yeah, so I hope this uh, helped you with your graphical abstract. And uh, if you like the tutorial, please give the thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to Drawbell Mat for more tutorials in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.